Turning now to our coverage of the coronavirus recovery in our state. New numbers from the governor's office show that the number of people being treated at the hospital is going down. More than 700 people are still hospitalized though right now. That's down by 16 people since yesterday. Sadly, people are still dying. 38 more people died and the total number of confirmed cases has gone up with more than 40,000 now infected across Connecticut. Some 6,000 more people have also been tested. Many events scheduled to be held this Memorial Day weekend have been canceled because of the pandemic. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Carolina Cruz is live from Rose Hill Memorial Park in Rocky Hill with some details on how cities and towns are still trying to find ways to honor our fallen heroes. Good morning, Carolina. Good morning, Caitlin. Yeah, and people are also trying to find a way to honor those service members. So we know that many of those events, including some of those parades that typically bring out a large crowd, will have to look different and it'll be a different kind of tribute. In Waterbury, the city joined with the local Veterans Memorial Committee. Since leaders canceled all in-person events, they're inviting the community to drive by City Hall on Grand Street and keep a safe social distance. The city will feature fallen hero banners with pictures and the names of 30 Waterbury residents who died during the Vietnam War. In Middlebury, the volunteer fire department will parade through town to replace the parade they would have had. The parade will also be a time to welcome back their junior firefighters to the firehouse. They've been away because of the COVID-19 pandemic and are transitioning back to the firehouse. We've posted their parade route on our Channel 3 app so you can see if they'll drive by your home. And we've also posted more events that other cities and towns are hosting and also the times um, and how you can maybe live stream some of those events. And coming up in our next half hour, I'll tell you how state leaders and the big state ceremony that happens every year that's going to be held tomorrow, what they're doing differently. Reporting from Rose Hill Memorial Park in Rocky Hill, I'm Carolina Cruz, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.